Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to protect the links. We have, so if I go here, we right now we have the edit and delete. And if I click, we need to log in. So we need to show if the user is authenticated. And also if the user who is authenticated is the same as the user ID in the post. So if that is if that user on this post. Okay, so let's uh, go and I'm going to change something here in the design. So let's go in the resources, JS, pages, front end, posts, and show page. And let me add here margin top to be two. Okay, and uh, maybe add margin yeah and also i'm going to change the links here so i'm going to say font semi bold i'm going to add the bg to be blue 500 on hover is going to be bg blue 700 going to be rounded and uh, rounded md text is going to be white and if i save yeah we need also to add px4 and py2 something like this the same for the second one so let's copy that paste to the delete we need just to change the okay so we need to change the blue to be red and we are okay and maybe add to this one margin right to be two yeah and now we have edit and delete, very good. Also here I'm going to add some styles. So I'm going to cut them and add in a div to be with class padding of two, paste them. If I save, we are okay, just add. Here I'm going to add also me white too yeah i think it's looking more nice now okay now let's protect this first we need to protect if the user is logged in so check if the user is logged in if i go here in this div when we add the link we can say we can say v if and in or up http middleware we have the handler inertia request and we added this auth check so we can say if we can check with that one for the user if the user is out authenticated or not so we can say dollar sign page probe auth and here we can say auth check if i save and let's go now we don't see if i go and log in here and we can log in with a test user. And let's go now to the slash r slash Laravel. Go to this one. Yeah, now we can see. Good, but I want also to protect if this user is the same as the user ID in the post. So for that, what I'm going what we can do, we can go inside the resources and the post show resource when we created that in the first in the previous video here i'm going to add the owner and this owner is going to be here we are going to check if the auth user auth id sorry if the auth id is the same as 
this user ID, but not like this, like this. If that is true, we're going to say true, otherwise false. And if I save and let's go and inspect the elements here, uh, we don't have the view in here. So let's open the Chrome beta and here I have the view extension. So let's go to the Reddit clone. Okay, slash r slash Laravel. And let's go here. We see that. Now if I inspect the elements and go to the view, go to the show and we have the post. Inside the post we have the data and the owner is true. If I go and log out and I'm going to log in with another user I created behind the scenes. So I name it second mail test and add the password. Now this is not the owner the same as the post ID. Now if I go in the slash r slash Laravel, go to this one and we see that. Now if I go in the show and check based on this owner. Okay, here we can say also and post dot data dot owner owner so now this is going to return true if this is true otherwise it's going to return false and now if this is false it's going to hide that if i save and you can see we don't see that okay now let's go back and log in with test user and navigate slash r slash laravel first post now we can see that okay so we protect the links let's go and work with edit because if i click here we don't have the edit method in the post community post controller so let's go and create that inside the controllers backend community post controller let's create the function public function edit and here we need the community dollar sign community and we need to return the inertia render so let's say return inertia render uh, communities post edit but we don't have that also we need here the post post dollar sign post and why is not auto completed okay and let's add here the post like this now we don't have this let's go and create the edit page inside the pages we have communities posts and let's save this create page as edit okay now here we have the community also we need the post so let's say post to be an object good also here now we can say the title is going to be auto completed with the post title so we can say props dot uh, post and add the question mark here dot title the same thing for the description props dot post dot description and the url the same thing props dot post dot url now if i save 
and let's see what we have. Refresh here. Go to the edit and not found. And if I go in the models, post model, now we need to do the same thing we have done in the community. So add the get road name, get road key name. So copy that and paste in, in the post. Save, refresh again, and let's go and edit. And now we have that because we have the post and the slug here, not the ID. For that, we had 404 not found. And we can see we have the title and so on. Now let's go and update the post. So we need, we need to say here function update. Here, we are going to use the store post request because it's going to be the same. So store post request community and the post. We get all of them and we can say here dollar sign post update. And we are going to update only the request validated. Okay, and when we and we need to return to the front end communities show like this, and let's see how it's going to work. Let's go back, refresh again, just in case. And first post, let's say updated. We need to change this, but if I click here and the first post is not updated. So we say here update the request validated. And let me check here what we have. We have the title, URL and description. Ah, yeah. Sorry, friends. In the edit, we need to change the here, not post store, but post update. And we need the props community slug here and also and also the props post slug. Now if I save and you want to try again, go and edit this, update it again, go and store. And the method, yeah, my mistake for put. Let's also save this one. And now it's updated. Go back, remove that one. And why we, we need to go in this post show? So let me just change this instead of commodities. We need to say post dot posts dot show and here we need to say community slug and also the post slug dollar sign post slug because we need to go in the post show. So let's remove that. Go back. Yeah, we are here. Now let's change this store to be update. So in the edit view here, we need to say update. Okay, refresh. We have update. So let's add one more time to be updated. And let's uh, remove and say here google.com just to see. And we update and we have google.com and update it here. Good. Also, if I remove this and say update, we have the title field is required. Very good. Go back and now let's work with the delete. If you go now to the inertia.js.com, uh, we need to do the same thing we have done with the 
communities. Okay, so we need to use the links as a button. So method post as button and type button. And we can use the method to be delete. Now if I go inside the pages, communities, index, and we have the link here to delete. So link with root and as method delete. So let's do the same thing method delete as a button and type button and let's go in the show view where we have that link to delete and let's paste them so method delete as a button and type button now the shelf is going to be community post and destroy okay let's go on in community post controller and create the destroy method function destroy we need the community and the post here and let's say dollar sign post delete like this and then then we need to redirect in the community show because we deleted that post okay close this close and let's go and see now how it's going to work refresh if i click delete this yeah we are in the second post okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy so let's uh, mark them as edit post and delete post now let's go and push to the github as always say git add git commit edit and delete post and say git push okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best